bipartisan group of lawmakers, so not all, but mostly Republicans. Funding that was provided for experiments on beagle puppies. 24 members of the House of Representatives signed a letter to Fauci, director of NIH, or NIAID, part of the NIH, so basically his section of the NIH. Non-profit group White Coast Coat Waste, which was obtained documents under the Freedom of Information Act, spent $1.68 million taxpayer money for experiments on beagles in a lab in Tunisia. The experiments reportedly involved testing drugs in the animals. In some cases, they were debarked through a procedure called a corderectomy. This is a very friendly way to put it, Newsweek. Debarked. They snipped their vocal cords. The lawmakers, led by uh, Nancy Mace of South Carolina, wrote to Fauci, grave concerns. So yeah, like I said, dogs were between six and eight months old, injecting and forcing the puppies with experimental drug before killing and dissecting them. They're really burying the lead here. Newsweek is being very wow. friendly to this, and this is weird. Um, cordectomy, they're saying. They're not even explaining. There we go. Slitting a dog's vocal cords in order to prevent them from barking, howling, or crying. Really wow. burying that Newsweek. Cruel procedure opposed with rare exceptions. American Veterans Association. Yeah, it's bad. We know. Um, they're not mentioning this stuff. Oh, locking. Walking, not found cages. There we go. Shame on this top comment here. Shame on you, Newsweek. You left out the portion of the story that states the reason for scientists debarked the puppies. They're placed in cages with sand flies that ate the puppies' heads alive. That's exactly true. I read that on two other articles. Shame on Newsweek. So this, you've just given us a clip here, Newsweek. Newsweek is not reporting the part where the puppies were locked in cages to be eaten alive by flies locked in cage that just by the head locked in cages in the middle of the desert, Eric, so that the flies would eat them alive so that they could test their new drugs on them. We were talking before we went on air. Wouldn't it be crazy if, you know, N NIH uh, admitted that they were funding Wuhan, which Fauci allegedly, again, we have to say this, we don't get sued lied about to Congress when he was, he was shaking his head. He was yelling back and forth with Rand Paul. I believe it was. They admitted that earlier this he week. He was doing his neck roll. Like, no, you are the yeah. yeah. <laughs> now is the thing that might possibly bring him down with a little bit of bipartisan bipartisan support, mostly Republicans. Animal abuse that he's funding? Is this what's going to take him off CNN, Eric? Um, well, no. It, that would be okay. nice, but it's going to be... That would, that would be nice, but it won't happen. Even, I mean, and, and it's very similar to what we saw with Andrew Cuomo, right? Uh, the guy... His whole nursing home executive order, you know, shut down, you know, eliminated the entire economy of New York in order to save the most vulnerable, but still killed thousands of the most vulnerable. And it's all backwards. So even if we were in a, if we were in a mildly, a mildly sane situation, <laughs> then, then yes, th then fine. If it's, if it's torturing puppies that takes Fauci down, fine. It doesn't matter that he's been lying to us for the past two years. But here's uh, another thing that, that, and this is a little bit different, but this article, again from Newsweek, that I've pulled up, it's from August 6, 2021, and it says, University defends vaccine test on dogs after Fauci and NIH blasted with criticism. So uh, apparently this is not the same thing, but this one got little to no play. Now, I'll credit where it's mm -hmm. due, I guess to Newsweek for at least publishing this headline. But what I'm, what I'm understanding here is now it takes two instances of Fauci abusing dogs to get a little bit of coverage that still will not have any consequences for him.